Alright, what's up my quesadillas? It's rainy season right now in Japan. So yeah, all week it's gonna be rainy. It kinda sucks. It's really depressing. Yeah, basically the month of June, it's just like typhoons and rain right before summer, I guess. Sometimes you just gotta make it wet before it's hot. Hey, let me do an introduction. Find your, find your place. Alright, what's up my quesadillas? Okay, I met up with Gabriel Garçon. Is that how you say it? Garçon? Garçon. Garçon? It's French. Do you speak French? I don't speak French. Alright, well, Gabriel is a pretty big time model out here in Tokyo. I met Gabriel at Family Mart. That's just where you meet this people, I guess. It's weekend. Yeah. <laughs> hey, wait, wait. No, I'm 19. I can't say that. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm 19 too. Oh, wait. <laughs> I don't know. He seems like a normal dude, I feel like, when you meet him in real life. But then you see his Instagram, it's like, damn, like, he's a model. He's wearing some, like, different clothes. I don't know. I thought maybe he could, uh, show me the ways of fashion and pick an outfit for me. We'll see how I end up. I, I still don't know what to call this video. I was thinking of calling it, I became an e-boy in a day. Yeah. But yeah, you said you're not really like an e-boy. It's like a- Dude, honestly, it depends on my mood. Some days I might be like full on e-boy and some days I look like a fucking cowboy. <laughs> Are we cursing? Sorry. Sometimes we're like a cowboy. Or hey, a fucking cowboy. That's fucking, cool too. A motherfucking cowboy. No, but it really depends on my mood, but we can get you more more of an e-boy type outfit if that's Okay. No, no. I mean like whatever. Well, here. How about what you think would look good on me? How about that? See, I'm very adamant about the fact that fashion is about expressing something. It's about saying something that you want to say. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's hard for me yeah, to, to pick my to outfit. Pick for you. Okay. I feel like there's kind of two types of fashion. It's like, maybe there's three. It's like, there's like the one, you know, what, what you said, like about expressing yourself. And then there's another one where it's like, I guess just trying to be hot, you know? You know yes. Just trying to be yes. like the sexiest or whatever. Yeah, just yeah, yeah. whatever's like, looks good, I guess. And I guess that's like what you call like, more, more what you would call like, yeah, yeah, yeah more yeah, yeah. basic stuff. Yeah. yeah. And then there's just like, just straight like far out there stuff, which is more like just like it's eye catching, eye catching. Sure. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Give me a cool style. You're the model. You know what's up. You know how to get the ladies. All right. You I know what the ladies sure. like. We're here though. Let's check it out. We could do your entire outfit right here. It'd be kind of boring though. The pants are super nice here. So that's what I had in mind coming here. Because most places pants are gonna be like sixty bucks, mm -hmm. but here you can get a pair of slacks for. 2,900. Do you wear slacks at all? Have you ever worn slacks? Not really. Really? The I wear like sweatpants or jeans. For me, my fashion, like it really changed the most when I transitioned into wearing slacks. Well, would you recommend like a lighter one? I was thinking, yeah, I was thinking either gray or, gray or black would be the easiest because then we can pick yeah. anything else to go around it. Do you have a belt on you? A belt? Yeah. No, I don't, I don't. Ooh. We could get a belt. I actually don't have a belt, so we could get a belt. Okay, we're gonna get a belt too. We'll start off with a pair of pants. I'm just gonna get like a staple gray or a black and then build the rest of the outfit from there. Holy Jesus. What is that? What the fuck is that? Oh, are you so different? Pants are looking good. I think we're going with these, dude. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just like this is a little tight, little tight right here. Are they here. kind of big though? And they got the flare. Are they kind of big? They're supposed to be big. I think these fit perfect. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Flare's good. Yes, yeah, dude, dude, the flare. I'm rocking the flare right now, bro. How do you feel so different? Dude, <laughs> trust me, trust me. Once it's all together, you're going to be like, damn, I feel good right now. Okay. So I'm huge into the like vintage style, like old, like almost cowboy western looking clothes, you know, pants that flare, that kind of thing. I'm always wearing slacks with like dress boots, Doc Martens, that kind of stuff. And if you're in Tokyo and you like that kind of style, you have to come to this place right here. I've been to a lot of thrift shops in Tokyo. It's the best place that I've seen for this kind of style by far, all into one store. So yeah, if you like the vintage western kind of style, definitely check out Focus in Shimokitazawa. If you don't want it, I'll keep it. Like, I'll pay for it and keep it. I should wear this necklace? Yes. yes. 100%. Okay. Oh, I've seen this place. Yeah, I've seen it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're telling me this is cool to you? Yes. What? <laughs> this is literally half off. So you just wear a t-shirt under it. I or guess. if you have like really dope tattoos and stuff, you can just wear it shirtless. I haven't seen myself in any of this stuff, so I, I, I don't know. I think that's the thing is, you have to understand how to wear it. It's not just what the shirt looks like, it's what you wear it with. And that's yeah. the part about like being able to style stuff, is being able to envision that before. Yeah. You know, like, do you see something and do you know how you can style it? Or do you just see something by itself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what's hard. You gotta compare it to what you have in your wardrobe already. Shopping is really about finding stuff that does well with your wardrobe. It's not about getting individual pieces that are cool like that's what for example like we got you gray pants they're just gray pants they don't look anything special but it's how we're gonna put it all together that it's gonna come out in the end and you're gonna be like oh damn so gonna get this shirt gabriel said it's nice and he knows fashion 
so I guess I'm getting this. So we're going with the staple white collared shirt. We're gonna tuck those into the slacks we got and then throw a t-shirt, like a graphic t-shirt over the top and see how it looks. Let's go look for a graphic t-shirt now. Okay. Okay, so this thrift shop is called New York Joe Exchange, right? Yeah, New York Joe Exchange, also in Shimoki Dazawa. And basically, the, the people that work here, they go to America, to New York, I'm guessing, and they buy all these clothes and they bring them back here. So it all comes from America. And the coolest thing about this place is that it's actually an old Japanese spa that was turned into a thrift store. So it's completely drained. It's no longer a functioning spa, but you can still see the tiles and the ground. So yeah, this place was a full-on bathhouse. I don't dress like a skateboarder, mm -hmm. but my fashion style actually comes from the fact that I'm a skateboarder, which uh -huh. sounds weird, but basically uh -huh. like that skateboarding for me, it's like, I love it because I, I don't, I like stuff that has no rules. I don't like to follow rules. I like, I like to break rules, you know, it's, it's a very like, it's very delinquent, but not in like a, not in a malicious way. It's, yeah. just, it's just how that, it's just how you express yeah, it. Yeah, not like yeah. following stuff. So fashion for me is the same as I like to break rules. I don't like to follow standards, you know, like like when you're a skateboarder, you know, you look at a set of stairs as a regular person and it's for walking up and down. You yeah. Know? But for a skateboarder, if you don't use stuff for their design purpose, you know, yeah. you say, fuck it, I'm going to jump all the way down all of them yeah. on my skateboard. Exactly. My fashion's the same kind of thing is where I see a dress shirt and I'm like, I'm going to throw a t-shirt over that, which is definitely not how you're supposed to wear a dress shirt. You yeah, know what I'm saying? But me, exactly. I don't want to do things how it's supposed to be done. I'm going to wear women's blouses. I'm going to do all kinds of weird stuff like that. Exactly. Like when I see a 50 foot tubular wave, I'm like, I'll just be radical, bro, and just hit that shit. Shred that knob, yeah, bro. bro. Hold on. You got to get these, these slides. <laughs> Are these the sickest slides? Oh, that's slides perfect. Ever, that's perfect. Okay, okay. These are expensive. You fuck with this Mickey stuff? Yo, this product bag is bad. Wait, where is there no strap? This is scary. Like, is there supposed to be? There's nothing even no, a strap. You know, you know what? Strap. This is the strap. This yeah. is what you hold. Yeah, dude. By the, the like price that. tag to show everyone how much money you spent on your Prada bag. You like this belt? It's my favorite one here, I think. Yeah. You know, the cool thing about it is you can put it anywhere, so it doesn't matter how tight you need it to be. It doesn't, doesn't have holes, you know. It just oh, has. Yeah. The way it's built, you can actually just throw it anywhere That's you want. That's kind of cool, yeah. Actually, roll with this many chains around my waist. See, I don't see. do that anymore though. Do girls like that? I don't dress for girls. Yeah, but like, I'm wondering, do girls like that? Now I think they do. When okay. I did it, they didn't. Yeah, like I said, I'm kind of hipster. So like now that the chains are more popular, I've mm -hmm. kind of stopped doing it. Yeah. It's too mainstream. It is, now it's a bit too mainstream. Yeah, so like, do girls like it? It's funny because, so basically like, being fashionable does not always mean attractive. Yeah. This, it's like you said, there's a difference between like, dressing to be attractive and dressing to be fashionable. Yeah. So I've like, completely given up on being attractive, I don't really care about it. Yeah. yeah. I just want to dress how I want to dress, you know? Yeah. I got something to say. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? Yeah. I appreciate it. We're gonna go with this shirt. The alpha's been decided. Go with the vintage Nike sweater. So this is Desert Snow in Shimokitazawa. They also have one at Chiba Station, way out east. But yeah, Desert Snow is really great. They have really good prices and pretty much anything from like American vintage, so like vintage Nike and vintage Adidas, to like more Western vintage, to like Hawaiian shirts. Like it can really go everywhere. They even have a little collection of like, like vintage Disney clothes, which if you're in a Disney merch, then Check it out too. The Desert Snow's my favorites, so we've been to all my go-tos here now. Uh, really Focus, New York Joe, and Desert Snow are my go-tos, and I really just cycle through those for my outfits. Wait, by the way. Yeah. Are we done with the fit? Right? We're done here. Yeah. Got the jewelry. Okay. Sure, put the right. right now. I already feel some type of way. A good type of way, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's good. I feel kind of hot all of a sudden. I don't know what it is. It's either hot because you have two layers on, or hot because <laughs> you look really good. Yeah, yeah I don't know, I guess. Yeah, I guess I think I, I, think I look good. Yeah. Mm. Won't fall, my nigga, I slip not. Won't fall, my nigga, I slip not. Won't fall, my nigga, I slip not. I won't be dead, misled, and head, I never break. Uh. Dude, I'm feeling some type of way. I don't know. Dude. I don't know what it is, but... This is killer. Okay, real quick, real quick. How are you? How are you? How are you? I'm gonna go to my wife. Doesn't like it. Won't fall, my nigga, I slip not. Won't fall, my nigga, I slip not. Won't fall, my nigga, I slip not. I have a question. Yeah. What do you think about hype beast fashion and stuff? Like the very like... Yeah, like... I'm not supreme. Alright, yeah, I'll, I'll go down, I'll go down. Alright. <clears throat> I'm looking at the camera, I'm looking at you. Is it supposed to be them watching a conversation or is it supposed to be us talking to the camera? Both. Both. Yeah. I really 
don't care how other people dress. The way I look at it is everyone dresses for a certain reason, you know, and the self-expression with fashion and with dressing. I think the problem with high piece is not what they're wearing, but it's why they're wearing it. Like, to me, when someone tells me when they say I'm a high piece, what I think is that they don't wear clothes because they like them, they wear clothes because someone else told them that, that that's what's cool. Mm -hmm. And to me, that's not what it's about. You, you shouldn't wear something just because someone tells you it's cool, you know? So you should be wearing this right now because I told you it's cool. No. Take it all off right now. You know, but, but honestly, it's like you, you shouldn't wear something just because, oh, it's a lot of money. This person thinks it's cool. That's why I'm going to wear it. You know, you should wear it because you're trying to say something about yourself, you know, because mm -hmm. it, it fits you. It's your your outfit, your clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't have a problem with any of the brands, with Supreme, with Off-White. I like a lot of pieces from both of the brands. You know, I, I have some Off-White Supreme here and there. Mm -hmm. But I think that people that are like self-proclaimed hype beasts are just, they, they don't, they're not into fashion for like the sake of the art. They're just into like clout and flexing. Yeah. And I've met plenty of people that like brands like Faith and Supreme that aren't like that. So yeah. that's cool too, you know, but just uh, the, the stereotypical hype beast, yeah. I'm not really a fan. Yeah. What would you think yeah. of my style before? I thought it was chill. People, yeah. people say like they think I'm like, it's like a skater kind of fashion or something. It's definitely like you're conscious of fashion. Like you think about how you dress, mm -hmm. but you're not like deep into it yeah, like yeah. I am, you know? That's so I, that's what I can tell. Yeah. You know, it's definitely not overly basic, you know? It, yeah. yeah. So I, I, respe I respected that to begin with, that you were conscious of the way you dress. I, yeah. That's how I can say it. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, no, I fucked it, for sure. Not everyone has to be into high fashion and follow designers and watch their runway shows. No, you don't have exactly. to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't expect everyone to be. Everyone has their own shit, and that's cool. The funniest thing, actually, is how I got into just fashion and caring about fashion mm -hmm. is because I watched a lot of anime, a lot of Korean dramas, mm -hmm. and I just thought everyone was so fashionable. K-pop guys were so fashionable, Korean yeah. drama guys, I just, I liked it, you know, and it could being in America, from Virginia, mm -hmm. you know, like, I didn't know anyone I was in the fashion, you know, yeah, yeah. The, everyone just wore vineyard arms and stuff like that, mm -hmm. so, for me to see that the Korean guys, like, wearing these cool clothes, it made me think, like, damn, like, I want to do that too, you know, yeah. mm -hmm. so really that's how it started, and I kind of just eased into it from there, yeah. just, uh, really Asian influenced Koreans and Japanese. Welcome Tell your story about how you ended up here. Because you're 19 just like me. Like, mm -hmm. I think a lot of people want to come to Japan, but you know they don't know how or whatever. Yeah. Like, I don't even know how you ended up here. I graduated high school in 2017, mm -hmm. and I didn't want to go to community college, mm -hmm. so I took a gap year. And the whole time I was just working my restaurant job, and I was really just like really depressed, just really hated everything. You know, I didn't have anything I liked to do. I was just working all the time mm -hmm. for, for what? You know, I didn't know what for. So I was like, screw it, I like Japan, I like Japanese fashion, you know, whatever. So I just went on a solo vacation to Japan for two months. This was last year in 2018. And it, it changed my life so much just being here that I, I knew the second I left that I had to come back as soon as possible. So I've tried to figure out ways to come back here. You know, for Americans, it's a bit difficult. You can't get a working holiday visa, which is the most common way uh, foreigners come here. So the next easiest visa for me to get was a student visa. So I applied to a bunch of universities that have international programs here, and I got into one, and oh, here I am. Yeah. Oh, so you go to an international university? Yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. so it's all in English. Why don't you want to say it in the video? I, because, I, dude, people are really weird on Instagram. The DMs I get, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want people knowing where I go to school, you know, where my campus is and that kind of shit. Because, like, I already have people, like, trying to find me in Tokyo, and it's, like, really? yeah, like, trying to meet up with me and stuff. And kind of just, like, I don't want, yeah. I got people that ask me, like, do you want to hang out in Tokyo and stuff like that? But I get that too, yeah. But, like, if you're a pretty boy model and stuff, then you're, you're going to have some, a little more creepy, you know. You don't get creepy messages? You don't get creepy ones? I think everyone, I mean, maybe. Yeah, maybe sometimes, but like, yeah, I, I think I think my followers and stuff, they're pretty like normal. They're very okay. normal people, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Being in the e-boy the e scene, the uh, the followers of e-boys are typically... I feel that. Yeah. A little, little crazy. If there's a lesson in this video, it's that fashion is what you make of it. Don't be afraid to do what you want, because Gabriel was telling me earlier, um, e-boys, like, a lot of times, they wear a long sleeve shirt, and then they wear a t-shirt over it. And I remember when I was a little kid, I would want to do that. Like I thought of doing that, but I thought I don't know. I just thought it was weird. Like I thought I thought that was like not not a thing, so I didn't do it. But you know, do whatever the <laughs> you want to do. You know, he posted he put po he posted a picture. He wore two pants, like two pants, <laughs> pants over pants. Who the <laughs> f
is that. Yeah, so don't be afraid to, you know, try new things, do what you want to do, you know? Thank you for showing me this whole, this whole, this new side of fashion. I don't think with my own decision, I would have just like chose all these clothes mm -hmm. and like mm -hmm. wore it. But I think now that I'm wearing it, I'm like, okay. Yeah. And then I can kind of, you know, expand my, my uh, fashion. Definitely. You know, clothes yeah. and stuff, my wardrobe. I'm always your help. I'm always shopping too if you ever want to join. That night. So, uh, I'm sure Gabriel will pop up in more vlogs. Thank you. Gabriel for the rings. We're just chilling now, eating McDonald's. I guess that's it for this video. Becoming an e-boy in a day. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and click the little ding dong to know when I upload. And I like... Close. <laughs>